this market. So you want to take out your position, and then if this market has, has to continue higher, it's going to you know it's going to offer anyway an opportunity to um, to uh, to enter. So my suggestion here would be to find targets at 0.99 or 0.90, uh, 90, 99.07 or 99. 93 the market might not get there so I would actually remove that level there okay and I would consider taking profits at 99.07 all right I hope that helps so I'm going to start a recap uh, of this session uh, right now and we actually have uh, have looked at the euro dollar here and we mentioned the two levels you're gonna watch in the coming days 11076 as well as as 10960 these are the two levels that we are interested in um, timing and looking for opportunities for a continuation long it is it is possible I mean any of these two levels is possible so making any assumptions on them it's a little bit foolish because you will try to mean to um, to impose our uh, our will on something that we don't know how it's going to behave. Here's where Japanese yen is the, is the great teller, it's the um, storyteller of this junction in the market, and uh, I believe that we have a very high probability of retesting uh, 170 here in the coming weeks and potentially months. This market has to find its um, high, relative high here. And you can, um, I believe the closer level is going to be 116.40 here, 30. And this market could just continue higher into it by, um, by actually uh, consuming all the energy at the long participation that at that point would be a much safer short. And if that was the case, we would have in our hands um, an incredible opportunity here for uh, 1600 pips. Not that these opportunities are uh, common, but uh, they don't come uh, with that frequency that we would like uh, them to, to be. So if the market gets into the level, I'll be very interested in, um, in trading short. Of course, there is another level as well, that's the 119, sorry, 118.50 or 40. And uh, if the market gets there, it's in a better gift. So these are levels where we, you want to risk, try to risk something in order to <clears throat> take a position. That's the price we pay to uh, take a position. And that's again, it's 116.30 uh, and uh, 118.40, which are the two levels we're going to watch for shorts continuation. Once that happens, the euro dollar will also will also follow follow the uh, follow suit there. Then we compared the SP500 with the US dollar Japanese yen, and the reason why we did that is that if it's through the risk risk is off, and the US dollar Japanese yen has to retest 110 then whenever we this, my, this, this market, the so Japanese yen will find the top, the SP500 will potentially find the relative high of this cycle. Of course, there's an absolute high that has been printed already, uh, and that would be on the futures would be true 2109, and we are going to see whether this market is going to offer a level that we could actually start taking some shorts uh, in the uh, in the SP500, uh, of course, uh, you know that would be through ETFs, leveraged or not, to uh, to try to carry, um, try to uh, to actually trade this market on the short side of things. And um, next, we we have been asked to look at the pound with Japanese yen, and we reviewed that market as well. I mentioned that in that market we don't have the um, uh, you know, we don't have the the edge we might have in uh, in other markets as well, and particularly I compare that to US dollar Japanese yen. This market has the potential to move into 154, sorry, 156.40. It went to 160 here. Um, you know, it, it actually it's showing the same pattern that the US dollar Japanese yen is showing, and as soon as that market will reach the highs, this market will reach the highs as well, and it's going to be coming a short. However, if I have to choose between the pound and Japanese yen, I will use the Japanese yen, of course. 
We then quickly touched on uh, the Australian dollar, US dollar, and in the meantime gave a one minute entry uh, with eight pip uh, risk here in this market. I have not foreseen that uh, move because I was not interested in trading that move. If US dollar, Euro dollar is going to move higher, this market is potentially going to move higher, so you want to trade things that actually go in the direction of the, um, uh, the least, uh, path of least resistance. I was also asked if the 200 moving average is going to be um, touched here and that's going to happen only if this area of potential resistance, as you can see, this is trading as a resistance now, again, it's actually dissolved, meaning that the bears disappear from this area. And only though if price gets uh, above 172.62, we are going to possibly see this market touching the what is now 72, 73. This is going to go down as the market develops. And finally, we reviewed the US dollar uh, Swiss franc, and particularly this market is very, very close to um, to a potential target uh, in 099 for longs, and that could be the start of a continuation lower after this big drop. Obviously, if the US dollar Japanese yen is to move lower, this market is going to move lower as well. All right, so this is it. Um, uh, this is it for the, uh, the show here. Uh, I'm Fib Stalker, Giuseppe Basile, um, and I'll be here commenting on these markets uh, every day from uh, 8 EST to 9 EST PM time here in, um, in North America, uh, Central Time. And this week is a little bit slow here because actually uh, you know uh, I'm, I'm i'm seeing the market a little bit slow due to holidays as well as my preparation but the reality is that until uh, the uh, you know until the US dollar japanese yen corrects into position and um, we start uh, we start actually looking at uh, uh, looking at um, uh, you know, this market reversing, uh, until we, we see that, we won't see a lot of movements here. All right, so um, uh, this is it for today. Thanks a lot for joining in. Regul, Karim, Peter, Joe, Jason, Pankai, Rudo, Jax, Jake, Peter, Regul, Lee, Kerry, uh, Desi, Joe, Adinda, Carlos, Vika, Roland, Bechtan. Thanks a lot. If you like the show, please uh, tweet about it. Uh, tell your friends, let's, uh, let's make this uh, show grow in terms of attendees as, as well as questions we can get and the markets we can analyze. And um, I, will, I will see my students later at 2 a.m. when we do uh, the actual uh, trading of the Euro uh, session. Um, and, um, and for all the others, I'll be very happy to uh, see you again tomorrow at 8 p.m. if you like the show. Let, uh, let people know. Um, actually, you can link to tweet, tweet the link if you, if you can and uh, uh, if, you, if it doesn't uh, bother you. And, um, and so we can, uh, we can keep and let this, uh, this uh, show uh, grow and have uh, more participation as well, as well as questions and, uh, and so we can, uh, we can actually all benefit from this. All right, thanks a lot, thanks a lot for joining and being here and uh, see you tomorrow at 8 p.m. EST and have a great day, evening or afternoon and um, happy uh, President Day and happy Family Day in Canada and I'll see you tomorrow. All right, so bye-bye uh, now and uh, I'll leave you with uh, a few charts here. Have a good day. Bye-bye now.